host Derek here talking with famous people is the show you're watching on your internet television screen. I'm here today to discuss the important issue of pain. I suggest this is a topic for Zachary as well. I think it's a, a good idea, a good way of framing things, which is I read an article this morning that said a better question to ask than what do you want out of life is what pain are you willing to put up with? Because all, mostly or pretty much everything that anyone wants out of life requires that one put in some pain to get it. So that means prioritizing, right? That example the article gave was the guy wanted to be a rock star he wanted to be a musician and in front of everybody being screaming fans or whatever but after a long time I was sort of waiting for something to happen to propel him along that path he accepted it wasn't going to happen and then eventually he realized he never had wanted it to happen what he had wanted he, he liked the idea of the result but he wasn't looking at it as a mountain to climb he was looking at it as but sure is a nice view from up there and that way, we embrace an internal look of control. We say, I'm responsible ultimately for getting what I want out of life, one way or the other. And what that means is, what pain do I want to undergo, and for how long, in order to achieve a large scale outcome that I want. Now, if I want to turn the lights off, I just got to get up and go turn the lights on. It's a small pain, right? A very small pain. But if I want to write, have, a, have my book read by a lot of people, well, there's a number of things I could do, but the number one thing I ought to have done when I finished writing it was send out query letters and send it to agents and publishing houses and stuff like that. <coughs> <coughs> At least that's conventional wisdom. What I did do was nothing. I self-published it so I could have a hard copy of it myself. And that's it. And I gave a couple hard copies to people and friends and stuff. And discovered that it was really hard to get somebody to read your novel. Why is it hard to get somebody to read your novel? Well, because a novel is a long piece of writing. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not a small ask. The thing a writer is actually going to focus on is, well, to the that it's a big ask, it took me endless hours to put it together. Wife and everything. Maybe you can do me the favor of reading it. But I understand better now that ultimately people want to do what they want to do. You know, I mean, she doesn't feel like reading it. You know, it's not just concerned that I. This is was happening back when I completely you know, whatever probably concerned that I had a lot of weight put into her response or something. Probably fairly concerned about that. And so, I mean, you know, I understand that it's not, it's not, it's not a position somebody really wants to be put into. Usually. I wouldn't mind it necessarily, but that's me. And I tend to be
not cautious in this thing, so... Anyway... That's, that's an example of putting up with some pain, right? Two cultures. One, me not doing so. It's also a matter of... There's a certain amount of courage involved, too, because... It's easier, safer, and more comfortable to think less of yourself. So, to make no bold claims, to not assert that your your book's good, not assert that your music's good, whatever it is you're you're doing, you know, it's easier, safer, and a lot of levels wiser to just shut up and, and let it be discovered somehow. Well, that's part of the pain you gotta go through. You gotta, you gotta understand that there's gonna be pushback in life. And it's not part of the pain that I wasn't willing to go through before, maybe. At any rate, it's kinda aimless. It's really hot today. And I'm happy to absolutely air things around when I'm making this. I think this video is done. Thanks for watching.